Welcome everybody, my name is Tommy T 9 and this is the Halo 5 Guardians Top 10 Kills of the Week. Starting with the honourable mention of the weeks, we have Lord Sidious, and he's ghosting around, trying to make as many of the blue team feel like they've been run over and hit by a bus. Well, a ghost even. But when they do try and take it, he's the first to let them have it, because they just fall off the edge and die. We've also then got Demetrius 16 who has this one shot against the Phaeton. And yeah, that is no more. Number 10 this week as we move into the top 10 is Awesome Dude 682 with I Only Assassinate. Yeah, unfortunately for the Reds team, he has one thing on his mind and one thing only, and it's all about basically assassinating anybody that is close to him. Unfortunately gets taken down at the end, but gets in three good kills. At number nine, this is Kuchulain23 with, wait for it, that's two quick sniper headshots. There is a third. Triple kill is up, and then we wait. He bides his time, waiting for his next target, and as he comes up the stairwell, flick, shoots, kills. Great work indeed. Number eight, it is Felipe65 with Off The Rails. Red team storming the armory. Unfortunately for the first two that came through, they have been destroyed. Number three tried to come with a ghost. Again, destroyed. Number four, yeah, could try harder. Number five, should have tried harder. But now we move on to number seven, and this is Aurium, and this is Everybody Owned. Switched it up to some SWAT rooms and pistol doing huge damage to the red team. Headshots flying all over the place. As they try and get in from distance, they are having no joy, jumping around as best they can, but it is in vain. Try to charge him there as well. Again, another headshot and he is downed. And number six, it's Infernal Death 94 with, you think you can take me? Already taken one down switches to the shotgun and yes try to rush him number three falls number four yeah gets assassinated and as this guy tries to rush in the quick turn on and the shotgun does the damage again taking a break from the top 10 and this is the infected kill of the week and it's from arvita and this is how you defend against an oncoming horde you are the last man standing. You will do everything you can to survive. And he does a pretty damn good job of doing that. No matter how many rush him, he keeps on taking them down. He even gets a turn on there. That is great knowing that that guy was coming. Whether he heard, whether he saw, who knows. The radar probably gave it away. But he was brilliant to turn on. And again, this just goes on and on. We know it cannot last forever. But we've got to give credit where credit is due. This is awesome work. Even with the reload, picks up two more there. Close range melee until finally he does get taken down. Back to the top 10 now at number five, it's O Pink Soap with all the right moves. Great melee there. Couple of shots did a bit of damage, but the final butt of the gun gets a second one there as well. Moves up high to come in from above. He didn't see it coming either. Another one smashed in the back. And yeah, why not another one? Great work indeed. Number four. This is a ghosty, and I think that is mine. Red team trying to get the blue team's flag. They keep picking it up, but every time someone grabs it, a ghosty is taking them back down. No one is getting that flag on his watch. And then it's returned. At number three this week, it is Ilu One's FX7 with giving it all. It's doing everything on the battlefield to make sure he gives everything to the red team and destroys as many of the blue team as he possibly can with his life that he has while he has it. Great work so far. Again, blue team trying to take down the guys underneath and he is doing all he can to make sure he's catching them off guard, flanking those two as well. And then unfortunately right now it finally comes to an end, but he gave everything. At number two, it's Chief Crispy Nips with throw whatever you want at me. 
first enemy thinks he'll just come across on his own. Unfortunately, he gets sniped out of there. Number two falls before he even gets a chance to come across. Eternal is near the terrace. Misses number three. Back to scoping, but hold on, what is this? That's a mongoose flying through the air. He sniped one of them off of it. He's now sniped the second one off of it. That is brilliant work. But number one this week goes to the boss Huxley and it's MC Hammer Time. He has one mission to take back this garage from the red team and he's going to do whatever it takes. And most of the time, he's going to use his hammer. Which is unfortunately for the red team, pretty uncomfortable. As those two soon found out and unfortunately number three yeah he tried to get away but to no avail you need to try harder my friend switch his back up to take down two further enemies with great accuracy and now again back to the hammer gets a double with the hammer that is crazy work that garage will soon fall runs outside grenade in hand to get another couple of kills so there you go that concludes this week's top 10 thank you to everybody who has sent me in their kills and got involved you're all truly awesome check out previous videos linked on screen now including the brand new overwatch kills of the week and also your chance to win a huge amount of razor gear i've been tommy teacher and i'll speak to you again in the next one